If you're interested in air sort heat, yep, <laughs> right, let's try again. Hello, and welcome to the HBIN Learning Hub. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the importance of flow rates for air source heat pumps. And the easiest way to demonstrate this is with a simple equation. So we can use this equation to show how important flow rates can be. And the equation goes like this, Q, equals M times C P times delta T. And what this means is Q is our kilowatts, M is measured in liters per second, not liters per minute, so we'll have to convert that. C P is our specific heat capacity of water, and it's always the same, it's 4.184. And then our delta T is our delta T. So we know about that if we know about heating systems. So to work this out and to show how important flow rates are, let's start with a 30 litre per minute flow rate. We're going to divide that by 60 because we want litres per second to make this equation work. We're going to times that by our specific heat capacity of water, 4.184, and then for this demonstration, let's say we're using um, underfloor heating and we've got a delta T of five degrees. So my 30 divided by 60 times my specific heat capacity of water times my five degree delta T is going to give me a, hang on a minute, 10.46 kilowatts. So that's where I'm starting from. So now I'm going to change the flow rate. So let's just drop it by, say, 5. So we got 25. We're going to divide that by 60, times it by 4.184, times that by 5 for our delta T, and that is going to give us 8.72 kilowatts. So from just dropping our flow rate by 5 litres a minute, I've made a massive difference to the kilowatt output that I'm getting. And that's why flow rates are so important to heat pumps, especially with our 5 degree delta T, our lower delta T. And we've got our water 4.184. If I was to add glycol to the system, and if you watch one of our other videos, you can see why we don't use glycol, it actually lowers this even further, so we get even less output at the end. So the beauty of the HPIN network is that we do all of this work for you. Thanks for watching today's video on the importance of flow rates for air source heat pumps. For more information, remember to like and subscribe to our channel. In our next video, we're going to be looking at the 7H fault, which is a common fault with the Dakin air source heat pump units and how to overcome this.